What is going on dudes, my name is Level13, I'm your coach for Kansas City New Kings, and today we have our week, season 3, week 4 DBL match versus uh, Adam and the <laughs> uh, the great Giratina United, so I'm pretty excited, I'm very, very nervous for this match. As you see, the team that he brought was something akin to what I thought he was going to bring, but I'm surprised he did not bring that his Mega. What was his Mega? He brought, the, he did not bring the Megalopony, which is something that I find extremely interesting. Now, uh, looking at this team here, I'm trying to debate who, will, who would be my best lead. I really do think that Pinsir is probably my best lead. Because um, the Crobat will probably outspeed me. I think Crobat has a higher base speed, but I don't think it'll one-shot me. Because uh, it does have an item, and it's probably like a Focus Sash or something like that. Victini I'm a little bit scared of, but Ravager can really wreck everything else. I also think about leading with Illuminati. I'm going to lead with Illuminati, because nothing can really touch him. And he's going to lead out with that Drud again. Okay, I can deal with that. So now... Um, I'm trying to debate, do I just want to go for, out for the attack, or would I like to set up my rocks immediately? He does have a spinner in his hip on top, um, so I think that I might as well just go for Psychic. You know, because, I mean, if he sends in the hip on top, maybe expecting the rocks or something so he can get in and spin him away, uh, I can hit that thing with a powerful Psychic and do quite a bit of damage to it. Alright, he's just gonna stay in, and he's gonna get up his own rocks. Alright, makes sense to me. Uh, I just wanted to be safe, just in case he did decide to swap. And I'm going to go for my, my own rocks, because you're not going to be able to one-shot Illuminati. Because Illuminati, I believe, I have, what, max speed? Or not max speed. <laughs> well, I meant max defense. Um, we have almost max defense. So, we're good to go here. So now, thinking about it, I could go for the rapid spin. I mean, I suppose there's no point. Here I might go for the earth power, because, I mean, I don't really want a rapid spin, because he can easily just set up rocks the next turn if he doesn't swap. So I'm going to go for earth power, and we'll see what happens. Because, obviously, everything but that... Oh, yeah, he's going to take 17% damage from that. He's going to go for Pursuit. Does much less. Yeah, he was predicting the switch there. I didn't want to swap because I did not want to take that Pursuit. I did not realize that they had suit, but or Pursuit, but you know what? Uh, I'm glad that I decided to <laughs> uh, deal with that. So now I'm kind of to think, trying to think about what he actually wants to do. Now, because obviously he's not going to be able to do as much damage as I can. Uh, well, I mean, I've been I've been doing more damage overall, and I do have the leftovers, so I believe he might be a uh, freaking assault vest set because as you see, stealth rock, dragon claw, pursuit, and he's probably got something like fire punch. Um, I mean, well, I don't know. I don't think anything on my team would it it would benefit from using fire punch. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna spin it. I'm gonna spin away them rocks. I'm gonna hit, get hurt by the rough rocky helmet. All right, that makes sense. Not bad. That's actually, I didn't realize that I outsped the thing. All right, I'm gonna go for Psychic uh, once more, and let's see what happens. Should I have left it in? No, but luckily I didn't die. So now, there's this thing like, I don't, either way I think it's gonna be dead, because if he decides to not go for the Pursuit, I'm gonna try to play mind games. So I'm gonna go into Ravager. He's gonna go for Pursuit. That's exactly what I thought he was gonna do. And I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to risk anything. I didn't, there's no, there was no point for me, uh, trying to do something like that. So I'm gonna go for return. Um, we're just gonna go straight up mega return. Uh, it should one shot. Yeah. Or take a, the rest of his health. I'm gonna take a decent amount of damage from uh, the, the rough skin Rocky helmet, but it's all good because return does a bunch of damage. You know, that big teeny, um, if he sends it out here, I'm expecting it to be scarfed. And I wanna look up and see how much that a, uh, a quick attack from Ravager would do knew it so quick attack wouldn't do that much a knockoff wouldn't either i really don't want to just in case he's, he goes for something like the v create i really don't want to uh have ravager take this damage but the thing is like if he's not scarfed and i outspeed i have a pretty darn good chance to take him out with the return but i don't want to risk that so i'm thinking about tr going into um well illuminati was my wall and i sacked him off like a fucking idiot okay well i have a special uh, Del Fox here and may go for that. We'll see. I, ha I do have a bulky Hercules, but I don't really want to send that in against this thing. Like, there's this part of me that wants to send in Alder, but at the same time, I really don't. So, <sighs> he might be Scarfed, and I'm really scared if he's Scarfed. Because that could mean really bad things. Because you V Crate will obliterate me. Does V Crate. You know, I mean, yeah, anyway. It, it does lower speed, actually. So, that could actually prove well for Alder to come in, but. I'm going to Cassie, expecting the V create. He's gonna go for Blue Flare, so he's special! That was a perfect switch, because Cassie's my special wall. Very nice. Okay, so, um, I might as well just go for Psychic. Why did I go for Psychic? That doesn't make any sense. I can't actually touch this thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Um, Flamethrower would probably do the most, just because, well, actually, Psychic probably would too, because there's a stab. Um, but this has a chance to lower his special defense. Grass Knot, if he s decides to send in that Suicune. I'm gonna go for Psychic. Damn it, I should have gone for the Grass Knot! I should have done it! Alright, how much is the Psychic gonna do? 27%. So let me actually look up and see how much I would do to it. From this range, Scald will still not kill me, so I'm gonna go for the Grass Knot. And he can go for the Scald, you're not gonna one-shot me. Yeah, you don't do much at all because I have the Assault Vest. I didn't even put the Assault Vest on it. So, uh, he's now probably going to expect that again. Uh, he could- he might sack off his Suicune here. Uh, how much did Psychic do originally? Psychic ended up doing 27% of his health, which will not take him out, but he will die to rocks. Uh, if I use it and he decides to stay in and go for rest or something like that. Because he's most likely gonna be a rest sleep talk set, as most are. He's gonna sit in the Florges. Okay, I can deal with that. Not too bad, and I get the special defense drop. Very nice. Okay, so I know this thing cannot one-shot me. I'm going for Flamethrower, most powerful move I can do in this thing. You also have the special defense drop. You're going to hit me with that Toxic. That is all right. I'm talking a lot right now um, because I would love to be able to win this match. I think, I've already, I think I already said that. So now he's got uh, lowered special defense. I'm kind of debating what I want to do here. He may go for the Moonblast, and I would like to send something in expecting that because... Both of my bugs here would take it nicely, so I'm going to send in Ravager. I'm going to expect the, the Moonblast, because if he decides to go for the Moonblast, that won't do very much. He's going to withdraw. He's going to go into the Victini. Okay, so I think um, if he is Scarfed, then he would still knock me out. So the thing is, I don't want... I don't know. Actually, he went for Blue Flare, so do, would, would that mean he's a spec set maybe i'm thinking about risking ravager here i'm gonna actually go back into cassie immediately what are you gonna go for you're gonna go for blue flare again that's what i was expecting i didn't want to risk anything uh i can live one more blue flare if he has choice that is i mean in this in this in the respect of things psychic is still the better all-around play to use oh goodbye gg get wrecked corbat very nice all right i just went for the psychic because the psychic was a safe play <laughs> And he's going to go back into this Florges. I'm going to go for the Flamethrower and take out the Florges. Because it did, like, 37%. Let's see. Yeah, 37% last time. So, oh. What? Oh, wait, never mind. You had lower defense. That's all right, actually. Really freaking good job there. All right, we're going to go into Ravager here. Um, there's no point for me going for anything but Return. You could swap into something. Nothing wants to take a return. Floor just went out speed if you go for protect. Um, still will take you out next turn with a return. He's going to go back into Suicune. Goodbye, Suicune. All right, there we go. Sweet. Okay. I prepped well. Having Ravager was really, really nice. I think, actually, at this point, Ravager sweeps. Well, this thing could have Stone Edge. I mean, I don't want to risk the Stone Edge. So, I'm... I'm gonna go out to Hercules. We'll see what he does. He's gonna go for the rapid spin. Okay. That makes sense. That was a that's actually not too bad of a play at all. Obviously, I can't say anything about it. So I'm just gonna go for fa the facade. Actually, let's see, we have guts. So let's see, close combat. Actually, earthquake's my best move to go for here. Uh you're gonna you're gonna use your citrus berry, that's okay. Seismic toss won't kill me. I go for E Quake again. Nothing wants to come in and take it. The floor just will die if it comes in and takes it. This hit on top will die in this turn. Victini will die if it comes in on it. So he's gonna sack off the floor just right here, and goodbye, floor just. Very nice. Now he's gonna probably send in the Victini. That is what I that's what I'm what I'm assuming. Um and I'll probably No, he's gonna Okay. Well that just gives No no no, wait. No, uh well, that was not what I meant to do. That happened. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Okay. Well, um, Alder. And I'm just gonna go for Earthquakes, and I should... Uh, I don't, I don't think the Victini can one-shot me, so... We may have already won the game. We'll see what happens here. Because, I mean, if not, this thing will survive at least one hit. I don't think he can kill me, unless he is able to carry Dazzling Gleam or something. Shadow Ball. There we go! Woo! We won! What a game, man! GG. I prepped really well. Not gonna lie, I prepped really, really nicely for that. That is awesome! I am so happy. That puts me in a great mood. Alright, it only took 23 turns. I'm gonna copy the link URL to send to... Um, I don't know. 
I just, I was on point today. I was on point. That makes me feel awesome. We are now two and two. Next week, we are taking on Toxic Tiki. Uh, he's one of, he's a good friend. He's a pretty cool dude. Uh, he lives in Japan. That doesn't really have anything to do with anything. But, uh, currently, he may be 0-3 or 0-4. I don't exactly know what his record is currently. Um, but we are 2-2, two two, so I'm happy about that because we're still start. We still have started the season out better than we did last season because we were 0-3 we were and then we won our first game and then uh, we lost one, lost one. That's how it's gone so far. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please hope you enjoyed it. If you did like, just appreciate it. Make sure to check out Adam's stuff in the description below as well as the BBL Twitter. And I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe for more and I'll talk to you all later. I'm a pro, say man ain't shit change Except all the money that I make, the honeys that I take I can tell a dummy from a snake Looking at me funny what you ain't, can't stomach